Alexander the Great, brilliant soldier, daring politician, ruthless conqueror. During his brief life, he obtained legendary status, acknowledged as son of Zeus in Egypt and recipient of divine honors in Tassos and Rhodes. Under his military leadership, he drastically changed the boundaries of the Greek world as his army pushed into Asia Minor. Alexander was born here in Pella, the ancient capital of Macedonia. As you tour the site with its graceful ionic columns and exquisite floor mosaics, you can imagine the atmosphere and power of the great imperial court. Here is the marketplace where shopkeepers and citizens haggled over prices. And here Alexander received training as a soldier and was taught by the philosopher Aristotle. His father, Philip of Macedon, masterminded the United Hellenic State and began to lay plans for expansion of the Greek Empire into Asia. Philip never lived to fulfill his dream. In 336 BC, Philip went to Virginia to attend the wedding celebration of his daughter and was assassinated. In 1975, a team of archaeologists led by the late Professor Manilos Andronikos made a startling discovery. It's uh, the first time we find a tomb of a very well-known historical person in Greece, because Philip was one of the biggest and more important uh, kings of uh, Macedonia, not only because he was Alexander the Great Father, but uh, because he was a great politician. We entered the tomb from behind, taking off uh, the, the keystone, as we call it, the last uh, central stone of the vault. The finds were many and of uh, different kinds. Uh, we found them all, all of them on the floor, but uh, some of them were probably uh, on a table, on a wooden table, which crashed, had been decomposed, so they were uh, fallen down. But uh, the, the most unique uh, find was the wall painting, the frieze, because uh, for the first time we found an example uh, of the great painting of the classical Greece. All these uh, Macedonian tombs we found until now were constructed at one stage altogether. This is the only one example which uh, has been uh, constructed in two stages. Mm -hmm. So the question is why? The only explanation, to my mind, to my opinion, is uh, that uh, the tomb belongs to Philip. Upon Philip's assassination, the 20-year-old Alexander was immediately proclaimed king, but he had many enemies and in order to keep the crown, a swift return to Pella was critical. At the same time, he was duty-bound to bury his father in the style befitting a great king. Andronikos believed that the two-stage construction of the tomb was Alexander's solution to his dilemma. He hastily built a burial chamber, attended the funeral service, then made provisions for an ornate tomb to be constructed around the first, freeing his return to Pella. Now, after 1983, we have a scientific proof a team of British uh, scientists and scholars examined the skull we found in the tomb. And uh, they, they found that uh, there is a deformation of the bone on the right eye due to an old wound from a missile which came from above down and blinded these men. We know that Philip was blinded by an arrow which was uh, uh, thrown from the walls of the city. As you continue your search for Alexander, head for Dion. It was here he took his army before embarking on his Asian campaign. The Macedonians were organized in a state about uh, 700 BC. And every Greek state had a central sanctuary. And uh, the sanctuary was important because uh, this was the sanctuary for the Olympic Zeus, the state god of the Macedonians. When Alexander was going to war, he would come here and make a sacrifice to Zeus before he left. And uh, perhaps uh, not uh, only in this year, 334, but uh, every year, uh, the ancient Macedonians came here, the, the king with the army, 
and it was a purification of the army every spring, uh, as we know from Arian and other authors. Uh, and uh, this was a regular act to, to sacrifice before uh, important uh, expeditions. Believing he had the power of Zeus on his side, Alexander overthrew the Persian Empire and marched his armies as far as India. Perhaps his most lasting achievement was the spread of Greek civilization and language across Central Asia. He died at age 33, some said malaria, others said poison. Many claimed a voracious appetite for food and drink. His golden coffin was sent to rest in Alexandria, but to this day the tomb of Alexander the Great has never been found. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.